Hi, it's Joan here. Welcome to Lesson 6, Responder's Second Bid. When it's time for Responder to make a rebid, enough information has usually been exchanged for Responder to make a good decision about the contract. Responder should add their points to openers. If the total is less than 25, be happy to play a part score. With 25 or more, play game with either a trump suit or in no trumps. In deciding on the best contract, Responder listens to opener's description of their hand via their first and their second bids. Responding hands fall into three categories. One, a minimum hand, that's six to nine points. Two, a medium hand, 10 to 12 points. Or three, a maximum hand, 13 or more points. Let's look at when responder is minimum, that's six to nine points. When opener shows a minimum hand and responder only has six to nine, be cautious. Don't introduce a new suit. Instead, choose one of the suits that have already been mentioned or settle for one no trump. Here's a hand. South is the opener. They have 13 high card points plus one length point for the fifth diamond. That's two aces worth four points each is eight, one king worth three points is 11, and one queen worth two points makes it 13, plus one extra, giving you a total of 14 points. South opens one diamond. The next hand passes, and North, the responder, has seven points and four hearts. They would respond one heart. The next hand passes, and because South has a balanced hand and less than the points for opening in one no trump, they would now rebid one no trump. The next hand passes, and North adds their points to openers. They know that there aren't 25. They know that there's not enough for game. They've also got a balanced hand, so they would pass and let the contract finish in one no trump. On this next hand, South has the same hand, which is 13 high card points plus one extra point for the fifth diamond. They open one diamond again. It goes pass, and this time North has a different shape. They have six hearts and seven high card points. You can add two extra points for the length in hearts, so your response would be one heart. The bidding goes pass, and South bids one no trump. This time, you don't have a balanced hand north, so you wouldn't leave the contract in one no trump. You would simply rebid your suit because you have a single suited hand. So you would bid two hearts and that's where partner would leave it. You'd play a part score because you don't have enough points for game. On this third hand, south opens one diamond again, west passes, and this time north has six points a king, a queen and a jack, and five hearts and five diamonds. Start by responding one heart. That's forcing and it'll go pass and south bids one no trump. Pass to north. This time don't leave it in one no trump because you have an unbalanced hand with a fit for opener's suit. So bid two diamonds. This will show a minimum six to nine points and a diamond fit. Opener will now pass, and the contract will be two diamonds. When responder is in the medium range, that's 10 to 12 points, and opener shows a minimum hand of 13 to 15, there mightn't be enough for game if opener is at the bottom of their range, that's 13, but if opener has 14 or 15 points, the partnership will have enough to go to game this time. So what's the answer? The answer is to invite game. Responder asks opener to carry on to game with a maximum and pass if they don't have that and then you'll play a part score. On this hand, South has a balanced shape and that is two, four, four, three. And they have 13 points. So they would open with one diamond. West passes and North has 11 points and a balanced shape as well. Four, three, three, three. North would bid one spade 
their four card suit. That's forcing East passes and South now bids one no trump, showing a balanced hand of 13 to 14 points. This time North shouldn't pass because there's a possibility that you might make game. So with a balanced hand and 11 points, North should raise one no trump to two no trumps. That's an invitational bid asking partner if they could possibly go three no trumps if they have a maximum hand. However, South doesn't, so South will pass and the contract will be two no trumps. Let's try a whole hand. North, your partner, opens one club. The next hand passes and you're sitting South. You have six hearts to the Queen Jack and the Ace of Diamonds. That's seven high card points and two extra points for your fifth and sixth heart. You're the responder, so you would bid one heart. The next hand passes and partner shows that they're a two suited hand by showing their second suit one spade. It comes around to you. You have a single suited hand, you've got six hearts, so you would simply bid two hearts. And see what partner will do next. They've raised your suit to three, so you might as well take it to game. That's four hearts. They lead the ace of spades. Declarer should stop and count their definite winners and losers. There's one loser in the heart suit, that's the ace, and there'll be five winners in hearts after that. There's one winner in diamonds, and no losers if you trump two diamonds in dummy. There are two losers in spades, the ace and the king, and there are no losers in clubs because you've got two opposite the ace, king, jack, four, three. You won't lose any clubs provided you trump the third round. So you lose the first spade and they switch to a diamond. Win the ace of diamonds and before you draw trumps you should actually play a diamond and trump it in dummy. Now you need to come back to hand to trump the third diamond. The best way to do this is to play the ace of clubs and the king of clubs and now trump a club. You can afford to trump this high because you've got so many good trumps. So let's trump it with the queen just to be sure. The clubs broke 3-3, so now your two clubs in dummy are winners. Play the nine of diamonds and trump it, you might as well trump it this time with the king of hearts. Now play the four of hearts, they win the ace, and they return a spade. You'll lose that one, but all the rest of the tricks are yours because you've got all the top hearts. So trump that, play the jack of hearts, taking out their trumps, and now your ten and nine of hearts are winners. So you've made four hearts, well done. Here's a summary. Responder's second bid usually decides the final contract. If the combined points are fewer than 25, Responder will choose to play part score. With 25 or more, they will go to the best game. Responder needs to listen carefully to opener's description. If there's a trump fit, pick that. If not, play in no trumps. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. That's the end of the beginner's course. If you'd like to go further, let's look at module two, which is all about card play.